Welcome back to Mouster House Campers folks. Well here we have something unique and super rare. A 1986, yes I did say correctly, 1986, 33 years young, Arca Europa 610. Two litre petrol based on the Talbot chassis. Exactly the same as the Citroen C25. And what a gem and find it was for me. In fact, so much so, it came into my possession a few months ago in our camper, van and motorhome business. I've been using it myself. I'm reluctant to sell it just at the moment. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Wait till you see it inside. It was fully refurbished three years ago. New upholstery, new seats, new bathroom fittings. It is an absolute joy to drive and own. It had a full set of new headlamps last year, three MOT. Incidentally, on the MOT history, it is impeccable. There is only one advisory in all its lifetime for a bit of slight corrosion to a brake pipe, which of course has been replaced. The chassis is absolutely solid. I have never seen a vehicle so nice underneath of this age. I put it up on the ramp and the MOT inspector couldn't believe it. It's clearly been wax oiled and treated for years. It's just wonderful. I can't. I'm going to run out of superlatives on this particular example. So the current MOT, there's not a single advisory on it. All four tyres were replaced a couple of years ago. All matching. It's wonderful. It really is. So you've got your stabilisers, fresh water, grills for the fridge, ventilation for the hot water on gas, good old fashioned slide out step, no electrics. So you just move this handle to one side and that slides in and out. There you go. Let's have a look at the garage. So, you just pull this lever here. And that gains us access to the rear garage. It's got parking sensors on, all working. Look at that. How's about that? No, my fold up Brompton bike does not come in the sale. Nor our wellies. But what a useful space that is. It's really well designed and thought out. So that just clicks into place. The lever goes back in there, and that's locked into place. It's got an awning, I don't know whether you can see, but it's got some clips on the awning, tie wraps, so that will suggest that it needs some attention. I'm not a person that uses an awning, so I've never attempted to open it. Just bear that in mind. Rear steps come out straight forward, nice little clip, and that gains you access to the roof area. Access to the gas cupboard, however, it is redundant, so it's just 
extra outside space because it's been fitted with a, an underfloor LPG tank which is filled in this, I have filled in, everything's working so the key is inside, you just move this key go to any petrol station, LPG, auto gas and fill it up there that's for your cooker, hobs, grill, hot water mains 240 hookup electrics again all working and tested passenger door but we never use that it has got a side step there we just gain access via the rear door of the driver's seat petrol there yes two litres of petrol so when I first picked it up and drove it 150 miles back on the motorway I was expecting it to be underpowered quite lively quite surprised it cruises all day at 55, 60 mile an hour, no problem whatsoever. We'll just have a look under the engine compartment. That's the en engine battery that was replaced two years ago. Can I get the camera in there? Just about. There's the brand new Weber carburetor that was replaced last year. Spur tyre barely looks used, if at all. Yes, it carries on in the good condition all over. So feel free to check the registration number on the UK database and then you'll get all the MOT history, as I say, it's never had any mention on the MOT for welding, chassis, uh, rot or rust, it is wonderful. Just a few little advisories over the years, silly little things like headlamp aim or a gator loose, that's all. Quite incredible really. Uh, one last thing to mention on the outside, it had a new exhaust system six months ago. So she's ready to enjoy. As I say, I've slept in it quite numerous times over the last couple of months and intend to do so early into 2019. I'm in no rush to sell this at all. Bodywork, all seems nice and solid. You can see at some stage it's just had a flicking of paint there and just see it on the outer line there. I would suggest it's had a mark or a scratch and someone's just painted it. The colour's just a slight bit off. And of course we are being fussy for 33 years old. Now three years ago it had a very small leak in this upper top corner. I'll show you inside, well that's historic now, it's been bone dry for three years, repaired by the last owner, I've actually been up there and put some Sikaflex marine standard sealer there, so it's a belt and braces job, I've run it down both seals on the top, so it's nice and dry for years to come, let's pop inside. This is where it gets interesting folks. I've parked up, as I say, used it myself the last couple of months and it is a talking point because there's very few of these in the country. So I do invite people to pop their head in and have a look inside and the expressions and comments are quite interesting. Look at that. Let's pop the lights on. That's the fan. We've got the water pump, then we've just got the lights. The only thing I've had to do on the inside, when it came into my control a couple of months ago, this interior rear upholstery was in a plain blue fabric. I didn't particularly like it. I thought it let the whole vehicle down. So I've been to the auto sleeper factory the upholstery factory rather in Derby and had it all 
rear polster so this is all brand new with matching scatter cushions as you can see very professional job so you've got the rear lounge area that doubles up the slats inside on the near side under bed storage area you just put the three slats across there and that creates a large double bed in fact the last couple of months we leave that as a fixed double bed so we just leave it as a bed area all the time because you've got such a large area at the front you can put that table that's the large table it comes with it's also got a smaller table so you can use whichever one you wish and that pops into the floor there so we can eat and dine comfortably the three of us on that table there and then of course with it being an A-class you just pull the bed down we'll pull that down in a minute after having to walk around but yes three years ago all this is brand new absolutely incredible condition and finish All new. Beautiful. Craftsmanship. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble. That's where you put the table leg. New pipes for all the central heating. Brand new seats. They've even got ice. Isofix uh, seats fixing for child seats. This one's got the rear seats. Of course, the front, uh, the seat belt. Of course, the front seat belts work off that. So you've got three forward-facing seats, and they've even gone to the trouble of having embroidered the Arca logo. Absolutely incredible. So three captain swivel seats. Underneath the driver's seat is a leisure battery. I'm quite finickety for my leisure battery, so I put a brand new 110 amp leisure heavy duty battery in there. That was replaced in December of 2018. So she's covered 101,000 miles. Divide that by 33, 3,000 mile a year. Look at the condition. The steering wheel. This is very close to show standard. Look at that dashboard. That's incredible. No cracks, marks, damage. All the windows open and slide as they should do. New curtains three years ago. My daughter said the control board looks like something off the Starship Enterprise. No LEDs, no computerised, just nice old fashioned on off switches. Lovely. So, when it was recommissioned three years ago and fully refurbished, the last owner decided to do without the shower. And I'm on that wavelength as well. So all it's got now, as you can see, very modern. bathroom latest modern Thetford toilet with flush and large waste area underneath very modern tap and sink hot and cold with new pipes as I say this was all replaced three years ago so yeah, I'm not one for having a shower in my motorhome. What we do if we go away, every other day we book into a hotel or a bed and breakfast, even go to swimming pools, and that gets us a shower every single day. So that's just one thing to bear in mind. That's the only feature you could possibly ask for, no shower. Not sure about this wood. I can't believe that this would be 32 years old, but equally, it's not three years old. 
So I don't know fully whether that's been modernised at some stage, but it's really in keeping with the age and vintage. So we've got a grill. Above the kitchen area. Tiny little mark here. It's a shame. Not being super critical for the age. So that folds like that. We can latch it on there so it holds up in that position or very well thought out. Put it there and that gives you more kitchen space. A latch on here. Look at that. Spotless. And everything's working. A bit tricky to show you while I'm holding the camera. I'll endeavour to show you one hob. There we go. Everything tested and working correctly. Hot and cold water. We've got the three-way fridge, so it works on mains, gas, and a 12 volts. And I can confirm that it's super cold. As I say, I've been using it for a couple of months. In fact, you can see the ice there. That's how cold it's getting. quite a bit of my bits and bobs in because we are currently using this all important glass holder cupboard we've got the well that's the important part I suppose the wine holders brandy so there you've got the hot water that works off gas so you can fully wild camp in this let's say all new pipes three years ago on a full overhaul. All the cupboards, as you can see it's got my bits on, that's the wife's joke. Beautiful closing. Everything just closes. Ah, so here we have all the gummings and bits and bobs for the satellite. Now just something to note, the satellite dish on the roof is all motorised, but the last owner said he's never been able to use it for the last year, it's stuck. So whether it needs lubrication or replacing, that's something to note. But all the bits and bobs are there for the satellite dish, controller, the three view box and the TV screen. So it's all uh, ready. I personally don't use things like that, we just uh, stream off the iPod and the iPhone now. So you've got reading lights there. So, as I mentioned earlier, it had had an historic leak three years ago. Now the only evidence is a little bit of softness to this panel. So here, it is dry now. As I say, I've been using it for three months now, but there is a little bit of evidence, soft to the touch in the corner panel there. Uh, there's nice and solid, so is up here. It was right in the corner, and there's a little bit, there you go, it's hard to see in the dark, but just a little bit where it's gone soft there in the corner. But it's now bone dry, no issue whatsoever. That was repaired three years ago, but I've also put an extra seal of Sikaflex Marine Standard on top, so it's a belt and braces job as such. Look at this. The, the original curtain, would you believe that is 33 years old?
I had the gas fire serviced and a new igniter and burner module fitted. I can verify also that this is working perfectly. A bit tricky to see the pilot light. Yeah, I can't quite get the pilot light on the camera angle, but that is working fine. Ah, there we go. Just about can see the pilot light now. That's super hot, folks. But you've also got the blown heating that comes through there into the shower area as well as down at the front. So, what have we got in here? The wardrobe. Oh, it's even got some of my t-shirts. Large wardrobe space. Just one thing to note, there's the second fan. These two clip in to the front. No air conditioning 33 years ago, so that's your version of air conditioning. So there's a fan there that clips in above here. The one that you saw in the wardrobe clips in here and they're controlled by the good old fashioned toggle switches. So two fans if you're running in the summer. That came with it. Double USB plug. It's got a Pioneer CD player. And super rare, it's got power steering. There was no vans, either the C25 Citroen or the Talbots of this year came out of the factory with power steering. So it's had an aftermarket power steering fitted there and it works perfectly, nice and light. So that is a bonus. Five speed manual. Now some of these gearboxes of this year were a little bit sloppy. This is not the case. So I would assume that that's been overhauled at some stage nice and tight, silky smooth. So there's the captain's seat, just put that lever in there and you can move them around. So let's have a look at the above cab. Look at that. So one thing to note here, it's got two memory foam mattresses. This is the latest Optitrex memory foam mattress. I've got that, that's my own, that goes in the back. So what we do is just put a cushions on there, put that memory foam mattress on, and it's as comfortable as any bed you'll ever sleep in. But also, it's got the memory foam mattress for the above cab bed. Again, this has all been replaced three years ago. Absolutely fantastic condition. Drop down curtain to the front windscreen. The three roof lights were replaced three years ago, so they're all brand new. All fully operational. This one's even got a fan. I think we can demonstrate that. Uh, there we go. That clips into there to keep it steady. So, I don't think I've missed much. Plenty of 240 mains sockets, again, all operational. One there, one there. It's got a couple of 12 volt accessory ports. There's another 240, yes, to the front area. Another 240 hookup. And there we have it. I did say it was pretty amazing inside. As I say, people, we do get some attention parked up. People talk about it and say, I've never seen one of these. 
We invite them to pop the head through and they just cannot believe it. Floor, rock solid. There's underfloor storage areas here, there and everywhere. So bits and bobs, spurs there, all your tools and jack there. More under floor storage area. There's under floor storage area to both sides of the front seats. Incredible. Pull down blinds. That's to all the windows by the way. All the windows open as they should do. So we'll just do a quick walk around outside and finish off. So just to recap folks, this is a 1986, 33 years old Arca Europa 610 A-Class four berth based on the Talbot two litre petrol chassis power steering MOT with no advisories all solid underneath fully refurbished as you can see and in the video inside three years ago it really is a joy to own And the living area space inside is just fantastic. As you can imagine, I've got access to lots of campers and motorhomes at Mouster House Campers. And this has been my choice for the last three months for myself. And will be into the year 2019. I don't think you'll find another one. I think there was only half a dozen imported to the United Kingdom from Italy. Can you imagine how much this would have cost in 1986? Probably the price of a house. As always, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll be the first one with an email notification of any new motorhomes or campers to come by. If you look at my other campers and motorhomes and videos, you'll notice they're all in really good condition, unless stated otherwise. I'm more than happy to deliver them anywhere in the country. All I ask is a lift to the nearest train station if you wish to purchase. I can't be any further or confident than that. As I say, I drive these all around the United Kingdom. And I will never sell anything that I'm not confident in myself. Any questions, feel free to pick up the phone seven days a week, 9am till 9pm, 0798 526 1078. I repeat, 0798 526 1078. But that number and all the information will be on the bottom in the information section of this YouTube video. Thanks for listening.